in the process of, and I don't want this to become a conversation about the MBTA, but in the process of fixing the T, how do we continue to make enhancing service to communities like Worcester and the region a priority? Because something like having express trains from Worcester to Boston, um, 46 minutes from uh, Worcester Union Station to South Station, would really be a game changer for our city um, as we continue to work on uh, business recruitment and attracting businesses to Worcester. In all of the things we do at the transportation agency, whether it's asset management, whether it's service planning, whether it's investment, we need to be thinking about economic development. So the process of how we develop our schedules is a really great example. There are, there are a couple of places where scheduling and economic development come together. One is not just Worcester, but it's an issue for Fitchburg too once that process is done. The longest commutes on the commuter rail system make it difficult for people to sort of see that as a commute. So we need to take a look at the, ab the ability, especially as we have bought the track and as we are trying to double track in some places, to run different kinds of trains from pure express to at least faster service and, and we're going to, um, one of the things that we're going to be doing now is we change the schedules on the commuter rail uh, twice a year, every fall and every spring and by and large we have not done that with an eye towards economic development. Another example of that is there's a commuter rail station in Littleton that was actually designed to be a reverse commute station that we would run a reverse commute train service and then have shuttle buses to employers but we've not run the reverse commute service so that's another scheduling issue that we're now looking at so we're trying to think about how we do service planning and scheduling work just like we're trying to look at investments and say the other thing that I would say you know is that again we need to take our signals from the community so there's a lot of pieces for a community like Worcester the Burns Bridge project is a great example of a, a modernization project that was very well coordinated with the surrounding landowners and that's going to make a big difference to UMass Medical that's going to better connect the two sides of the lake and allow folks on one side to get to the other side in a variety of modes walking biking as well as in cars to access the retail and, and restaurant opportunities there. There's the issue of train service. There, there's, a, uh, there's, there's a bunch of different things and we, we need to be doing all of them and we need to be doing it in a, in a comprehensive way. So faster trains are on the agenda but I wouldn't actually say that that's the only issue because better connecting Worcester to its neighbors, how the Worcester RTA operates, how the, the road system works, all of those are pieces of the puzzle not just for Worcester, but for every community. Um, what, when I, you know, the, one of the pieces of evidence I use when I explain to people why I fundamentally believe that transportation is economic development is I say when mayors and city managers come to see me about projects, they talk about them as economic development projects. They happen to be about a road or a bridge or transit service, but they don't come and say, we need to reduce congestion by 4% or you know, improve people's commutes by seven minutes. What they say is this project supports my efforts to accomplish these larger goals for my community. I need MassDOT or the T or my RTA to be part of that conversation. So it's when we work in communities that it becomes the clearest that transportation and economic development are one and the same. And whether it's service or projects, we, we need to make that work better.